All right, let's jump into some small land tips and tricks you need to know. Okay, so you want to get silk, but you don't want to fight the spiders to get it. Uh, that's fine. You can come over here. Uh, you may have to fight one spider, but we'll come right here. It's just a short distance from this guy. Okay, so once you get over here, you want to make, work your way down to down there. Now, you can't really do it from here. I mean, you are going to have to probably fight a spider or two. Um, I uh, just brought the armor and show you. But the primal armor is good enough. If you have flint gear, you're fine. Uh, wolf spiders aren't that dangerous. We'll show you. Uh, but you can always, if you're if you're worried, you can always use the kiting technique you showed you earlier. Um, kite some of these out. There's usually one spider, yeah, guarding here. Uh, get a free shot on it before it sees you. It's probably already seen me, but yeah. So anyway. Uh, they're pretty easy to fight. Where do you go? They can climb. Uh, so just warning about that. So the wolf spiders are not too bad. And you can quickly kill them with uh, bladed weapons. So your flint. The flint sword you've probably made by now is probably going to be good enough. And you just kill them. You're probably, and of course, if you're not dodging like I wasn't just kind of tanking them, you're going to want to heal up between the fights. But this path will only allow you to, you don't have to fight two. So you know, there's a picnic table over there. You go to the left of the table. There's a path to work our way down. It's getting night, so it leads into another tip I want to show you. So we need to get out of here. But anyway, uh, it leads a path down to the wolf spiders. You're going to have to fight two. Uh, unless you get unlucky, then you may have to fight three, but that's it. Alright, so the next one's going to be guarding this pillar right here. There he is. So we get a stealth attack in on him, maybe get some extra shots before he gets to you. Uh, soften him up, get some damage on. Alright, and then switch to your sword. I'm still not super great with a bow in this game, I've been practicing it. Uh, if you're worried, worried, you can make a stamina potion, health potion, and use that to fight. So once you've taken him out, uh, watch for the spider on the left so it doesn't aggro you. And you can just go over here and drop down. So we're farming the easy, these are the easy cocoon, cocoons to get to. Uh, there's probably some, maybe some easier ones. This is where I like to go because it's so close. But this is good enough to give me my first little bit of silk to get me on along my way. Get my bow, things like that. Uh, spindle, all that stuff. Uh, so yeah. So you come here and get this silk. And then, <laughs> the poison resistant. There's a poison resistance potion. If you take it, it doesn't, it doesn't keep you from getting poison. Like in Valheim, when you have to take a poison resistance potion while it's applied, you, you the poison you take does less damage. And this cures poison, so it should be called a poison cure. Um, you get rid of the poison. And it no longer poisons you, but you can immediately be poisoned again. So if you take it during combat, as you can see, we got a whole roll of uh, silk here we can go to without fighting. But if you use the poison resistance during combat, uh, you just get repoisoned and you'll avoid it. So wait till combat's over and you need to stop the ticking damage and then you can activate it. Uh, until then, you can just use bandages and health potions to mitigate it. So there is another spider over here. Which you can fight if you want, or you can catch it between us patrolling and sneak over here and get these. Okay, so another option for getting your silk early, if you really want to, you don't want to mess with the spiders or any of that, you can switch to peaceful, log out, switch to peaceful mode, log back in, come collect your spider uh, silk, then, uh, <laughs> well, you know, go back to your base, log, or log out, log back in, go back to your base, and turn uh, peaceful mode back off. Speaking of which, if you pause, you probably notice this here, unstuck. This is awesome they put this in a game, because there are going to be chances that there's, there's something they've missed where you can get down into something you can't get out of, and you're stuck. What do you do? Well, in art, you would have to wait till you die in this game. You don't really... You would have to starve to death, too, in this game. Um, So, yeah, it, it's, it's no fun waiting for that to happen, right? So they have the unstuck button. You just hit it. Your character will die and respawn at the last respawn point, so you are killing yourself, unfortunately, so you watch for that. Then you have to come back and get your gear. Uh, we're not going to do that right now. But it is a possibility, in case you just absolutely cannot get out, at least you have that option, and then you can come back and get your gear. Okay, so in an early game, you may be tempted to not be slung but down by night. Not bother to put a bed down, sleep, make it become the day, because you have to put a foundation and roof over it to the bed to make it become day. You can just go into this mode here, and you can see pretty well, right? Tells you what all kinds of things you can farm. And so you may just 
want to do that and just move on because I know I do. I don't want to stop. I don't have to. My character doesn't need to sleep. I'm not going to sleep. and keep playing. So if you do want to do that, just a warning. Um, there are some issues that come with this. Uh, it, in, in early game, especially early game, you're better off to sleep. You see these guys look kind of like recluses with glowing eyes? These are dawn ants. And they're very aggressive and they come out at night and they're everywhere. Uh, early on, when you, <laughs> when you don't even have stone gear yet, um, even with stone gear, these guys can be tough because they come in a pack. Okay, so these guys will mess you up at night. Uh, they'll chase you around. They don't just patrol in small areas. They travel pretty far. Uh, and they'll chase you around. You can't run them, of course. And they go away, uh, they go away when the sun comes up. So these guys are going to cause you lots of headache until you have some good gear. So let's just show you. They are uh, their pack. So they'll fight you as a group. Now, of course, with the flint spirit sword, you see, uh, and yeah, the other ants are their buddies too. So if there's other ants in the area, they'll come at you. As you can see, even with my good armor on, I'm taking quite a bit of damage. Uh, this, right, if I didn't have a flint sword, they would take quite a bit to kill. So you're going to watch out for those at night. Uh, maybe best in the early game to sleep at night until you have, you know, at least the primal armor and some flint gear. And if you've never played Valheim or games similar to it, you may be wondering how to build. Well, um, when you go into crafting, there's a builder's helmer. You need to have this equipped to build. Uh, if you're using a controller, once you've equipped it by pushing up on the D-pad, of course you use the D-pad left and right to go through this just like Valheim. Push up on the D-pad and you equip the thing. Uh, press B and there you go. Uh, it should tell you what the button is on the bottom right there uh, if you're using a keyboard and mouse. So one thing the game kind of tells you about, but I'm not, it is that your structures, if not covered by a roof, will take damage over time from weather and eventually break. So there's not a stopping point like in Valheim where it only gets halfway damaged and then doesn't go any further, it will actually break in this game. Or at least, if it doesn't now, it's supposed to in the future. So keep that in mind. Alright, another tip I didn't realize at the beginning of the game when I first started was causing me some issues. Uh, when you go to something like this that says gather, you hit gather, it jumps out into, uh, into this, right? Sometimes it slides away. Then you have to pick up one at a time. Well, that's a little frustrating, right? When you know, other games, you just automatically goes to your inventory when you pick it up. Same thing with uh, like the fire plants here, gather. I want to show you a trick. If you hit the gather button and you hold it, don't let go of it, when you go to gather, it just sucks it up into your inventory. Right? Resin, sticks, fiber, all that, it does that for you. All this can chop down. So if it's something like this, mauve tree over here, we'll chop it down. We'll show you how that works. Because, you know, you can't hold gather because you're chopping it down, right? So it puts it on a pile, and it says pick up. Well, same thing concept here. Once you go to pick up, just hold down, pick up, and it all goes in your inventory. Super easy. Gather fast. You don't have to sit there one piece up at a time. It'll definitely save you some time, some headache. <laughs> there you go. And you're going to want to learn how to fight saw your beater beetles pretty early on. Uh, as you notice, they're weak against piercing damage. Spears and bows work best for them. Uh, so you're going to want to be killing these guys for their chitin. There's other things that give chitin. They, uh, they're they not as easy to kill as the Sawyer Beetles. And as you notice, this one gave us one. Some some Sawyers will give you two. Uh, the other things that you fight, they give you, they're a lot harder to kill than the Sawyer uh, for chitin. They're only going to give you maybe three chitin. Uh, sometimes four on rare occasion. So they're not worth fighting versus the... Um, Saw your beater. Well, I, I, it's a lot easier to kill. You won't use nearly as many healing things. Okay, and so I'm not big on resource gathering guides. I'm like, where to go to get resources and showing you, going to the location and showing you, and then going to the and showing you. I'm not big on those kind of guides. So what we're going to do is put a part of a tips and tricks video here. Where to get resources like strawberries, blackberries, um, those kind of things like that. Uh, that maybe are rare. You're not finding them. Um, whatever you need help with. Metal. Alright, so what I've been doing is I have traveled the map. And in hindsight, I probably could have just took a little clip here and there of gathering. But it takes a while and I have to figure out, you know, 
keep it organized and <laughs> go back. Anyway, so what I did instead was this map. Okay. If there's a large blank place like this, this I have explored there, and this I have explored there. It's just there isn't any resources there, or there's not enough of any one thing to give it a list. Like, in here is probably some edible mushrooms, maybe some rye, but only a few here and there, not worth putting. Um, there are still some areas I need to thoroughly explore more. I believe this area here has not been explored. At least this region hasn't been explored enough yet. Uh, I need to go through there and mark those for you as well. I have, I have made my way over here and started exploring. I've only kind of been here. I haven't been to this area yet, but I imagine it's going to be the same things as here. So we'll start here with the later stuff. And I believe over here is where you get the hard chitin as well. Uh, the in-game chitin that you'll be looking for. I believe it's going to come from this area. I'm not sure on that. It's uh, I think there's some bugs over here you kill. Maybe a boss. Uh, anyway, we'll figure that out later. This is still an early on to tricks video for me. So we have sorrel, uh, cyclame, however you say that, clay, blackberries, all over here. So make sure you pause here, take a screenshot, get yourself a nice little area of the swamp. Alright, now we're going to move on. We're going to show you, let's go in by region. This is kind of where you start here. It's not a whole lot of resources in the area you start in, so where you start. And then, it's funny, you start here, make your way here, and you come back to above the start point later. Uh, again, not a whole lot of resources here. So let me zoom in a little bit more. Get you the starting little island type place. There we go. And then pause, take a screenshot of this. Honey, strawberries, if you're wondering what strawberry is, a strawberries. All right, poppy mauve. So make sure you get a screenshot here. Can't kind of see the honey hidden behind the garlic and poppy, but yeah, I don't know. That's garlic, poppy, honey, and then rye, poppy mauve. So the other thing I should explain is it's in this general area. It's like Here's where I put it. So garlic may start here, and it may actually grow all the way on to over into here. So make sure you explore around it. Now if you come here, everywhere you look, you'll be able to see where the garlic is from this point, basically. All right. Blackberries all along here. Um, I think the blackberries just continue all along all through here. All right. So hopefully you pause, taking a screenshot. Next area. We'll go in the northwest side from this river over. And we'll stop, we'll make the line here. All right, now this area here is kind of closed off. There's nothing really there. All right, so we have blackberries, flint, sapling. This is where you get your scrap metal, uh, bark, sapling. Uh, there's a little Sandra person here to talk to. Bark, silk, foxtails, silk, cocktails, bark. There's a screw here, if you're wondering. I think there's some screws along the river here that I didn't get to uh, mark when I found them. I was thinking about it when I found them, and now they're gone, so, yeah. All right, now we're going to go south, and we'll cut it off here. About where we cut it off there. All right, so make sure you pause and get a screenshot of this. I have the flint down here, wasp, uh, dragonflies, geckos, kind of stuff. Foxtails, mauves and poppies in here, blackberries, edible shrooms. There's a cave under here. Uh, it's a cool little cave if you want to go into it. It's got a bunch of bugs in it. Uh, there's not a whole lot of stone in this game. It's kind of spread out everywhere. Um, stone's mostly going to be at the stone quarry, the mines, and the red ants. Uh, that's where you're going to get most of your stone from. Oh, oops. So make sure to pause, get your screenshot. There's a toad here. I haven't seen hardly any toads in the game. Uh, there's one here, though. If you're looking for one, they drop a decent amount of hurt tile hide. Alright, and then of course I'll do this again. Um, once I've completed the map, I'll go ahead and cut pieces of it out, upload them to Instagram. Uh, put links in the descriptions and I'll tell you about them in the videos. If you enjoyed this tips and trick video, make sure to smash that like button. Have an awesome day.